，好好嘅。好嘅，可唔可以平啲啦？平少少啦。好好好。Hey, all right, let's go. 龙哥牙咬住咩？喂，食月饼啊！ Hi, my name's Donald. Here in Zhongshan, it's time for the Mid-Autumn Festival. On this occasion, Chinese families often gather together to share a meal, admire the moon, and enjoy the traditional food of mooncakes. Hey, so today we don't need to buy any mooncakes because our friend Melody has agreed to help us make some Cantonese-style mooncakes. <laughs> Hello. 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 好，呢兩種係我哋今日做嘅兩種比較傳統嘅餡料。呢個係蓮蓉，誒，仲有呢個係五仁，開一個窿先，一邊轉。咁而家我哋將一個鹹蛋黃放入去中間，攞一塊皮，跟住壓扁佢先，跟住喺台度，我哋咁樣整。好，我哋而家就將佢推落嚟。Go go 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 go! Go, team daddy. Now go, team daddy. Huh? We win! Yes, have fun. Come on. Melody said the Mid-Autumn Festival falls on the 15th day of the eighth month of the Chinese lunar calendar, while the moon is at its fullest. It's also a harvest festival and a reunion occasion. 一二三，哇！耶，好，入洞。Mooncakes are also known as reunion cake due to their round shape. So eating the mooncake symbolizes the happiness of families coming together. 哒哒哒，哇！好香啊 ！Okay, so we've taken them out of the oven. They're a bit too hot to eat now, but they'll be ready to eat soon, and I'm sure they're going to taste great. It's a lot of fun, you know. It's a good family activity for the day. You know, we got to have fun with the kids. They get to play, kind of like they're playing Play-Doh, you know. And you get to eat them at the end of it. So it's a pretty good, pretty good fun. So in addition to making mooncakes. I know lots of kids like to buy lanterns as well. So we've come down here to the Bai Shui Jing, which is quite a famous, well-known street for selling lanterns. Now, I know Hamish here, I can see he wants to get the cartoony ones, but there's some pretty cool handmade ones here, which are a little bit more traditional style. So we'll see what we can find. Like this one, Hamish? This is a beautiful one. This is a gumball. 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 Can you go down? Can you go down? Yes, yes. This is a gumball. 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 Buy it for me. Can you use it? Yes, you can. You can use it. Yes, you can. On Mid-Autumn Day, the excited bustle of family around the house seems pretty typical of holidays anyway. The kids really like to have these rooftop picnics, which we started during the COVID lockdown. So today we've invited the extended family and set up our feast. Hello, Ling. Taste the mud. Never tried getting into these before. I've seen them, but as far as I know, they're just some sort of nut or something. I had no idea. Okay, let's try some tomato sauce. Perfect. I have to admit, 
When you're involved, you do get a sense of the festive atmosphere and even the excitement building up to the day. It certainly makes life more interesting to have discovered all these traditions and become part of them. <laughs> <laughs> and this sorts of like festival occasions, of course, you know, my mind goes back to my family in New Zealand and I haven't been back for two years, so you know, I think about how I miss them and there's always a good opportunity to get on WeChat and talk to them. So I got my parents online now, I can show them what we're doing. So Hi Mum, hi Dad. Happy Mid Autumn Festival. Yes. Hi. So, hello Grandma, hello, hello Granddad. Yeah. Happy Mid Autumn Festival. Happy Mid Autumn Festival to you. We'll you come too. see you very soon, we promise. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Happy Mid Autumn Festival. Don't tell the Happy Mid Autumn. Bye bye. Bye bye, Grandma. Bye bye, Grandma. I know it's a cliche, but it is actually quite cool to look at the moon and know that thousands of miles away, my family in New Zealand are looking at the same thing. It does give me a warm sense of connection back to where I grew up, no matter where I am now. Now with the boys, I can see the importance of showing them about the cultural life here where they live. And the more I learn, the more I understand and feel part of things too.